Good afternoon, this is Dr. Roth. Today we're going to be discussing the spinous process of the lumbar spine, a very unique and specific area of the spine. Uh, the lumbar spine is made up of the last five bones in the low back. This is where the low back and the hips connect. I'll show you and demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about. From behind, this is what it looks like. These are the little pointy uh, ridges or bones that stick out and protrude along the back of the spine. This is what it looks like from the side. Um, there's plenty of anatomy and muscular tenderness and ligamentous attachments here, mainly the thoracolumbar fascia, which is a thick, dense connective tissue, and uh, it's got lots of nerves, lots of blood vessels, can be damaged and very painful. You got the rotatories and the uh, inner spinalis muscles here, as well as the multifidi, the very deep back muscles. Uh, you've also got the uh, spinalis thoracis muscles, uh, kind of very deep muscles that transverse the thoracic spine and the lumbar spine. In any case, these spinous process, now we're only talking about the very end, we're not talking about the entire vertebral body here, we're just talking about the spinous process are unique because they are very flat and rectangular and they stick almost straight out, whereas a little bit higher up sometimes you get long, a little bit longer and they go down at an angle, these go straight out and they're very thick and very strong because of the fact that there is lots of uh, soft tissue attachments to them. Uh, these are also unique because sometimes between the age of 40 and 60, uh, a little bit more commonly towards the age of 60, you can get some degenerative changes in here. And what can happen is the supraspinatus and infraspinatus ligament uh, can become hard, dense, and actually turn into bone, causing localized pain in addition to, but not limited to, uh, decreased range of motion. So, infraspinatus uh, is actually the ligament that goes down in between each one of these bones. Supraspinatus is on top. And what happens is first those turn into a fibrocartilaginous ligament, which is less moist, less mobile, a little bit harder, denser, and not, not quite as healthy. And then from there, they can actually turn into bone. And this can uh, limit range of motion, cause pain, like I said. And this can actually add up to a centimeter in length of the spinous process. That might not sound like a lot, uh, but when that extra centimeter of bone is pressing on a nerve or a blood vessel, it can be pretty uncomfortable again. Um, so uh, that's, that's really the main reason why this region is uh, unique. These type of problems or degeneration at the, around the age of 60 years old is typically going to be more common for people that already have other degenerative changes uh, in the middle and in the front of the spine, such as here in the middle of the zygapophyseal joints and in the front here in this vertebral body. Thank you very much, and next time we'll discuss more of the anterior longitudinal ligament.